In 2 Kings 16, we find Ahaz, the son of Jotham, king of Judah, begins his reign. He is 20 years old when he begins his reign and reigns for 16 years. Insights into this chapter show us the following. First, Ahaz does not do what is right in the sight of the Lord, as David his father did. Instead, he walked in the way of the kings of Israel. As we know from back in the beginning of the time of the kings, Israel rejected God's direct hand of governance, desiring kingly rule as the nations around them had, and they got exactly what they wished for. As the time of the kings passed and continued also with Ahaz, we see in Ahaz's time also a heightening of exchanges and dealings with the nations that God had cast out from before the children of Israel, as well as an embrace of the cultures and the practices of these nations. A furthering of distance between the nations and the people from God, as well as a complete throwing off of the practices and ways established by God for his people. The second insight shows us a deepening of relations by Ahaz with the pagan nations. He is giving over temple treasure and gold to them to build altars and offer sacrifices on these pagan built altars. He is doing this in part for the protection of these nations as well, not relying upon the Lord his God who has been truly protecting him all along. So. In God's mercy, he allowed Ahaz to become king, to sit in David's seat. He protected him from the attacks of the nations of Syria and Israel, as well as allowed him to reign for 16 years, but all the while never acknowledging God, never calling out to God for wisdom or help, but instead relying on the king of Syria for protection and submitting to him as opposed to the Lord his God. Does any of this sound familiar to us today? God has created us, protected us, and expanded our boundaries as a nation and as people. And we continually embrace and allow the nations to influence, guide, and direct our lives. My prayer today is that God would wake us up and cause us to repent and seek him again. Seek his direct hand of governance and revival in our nation and in our lives.